This is Woolworths Limited, and this is West Farmers. You know them as Woolies and Coles, the big friendly giants, the number one and two retailers in Australia. 23 cents of every dollar we spend ends up in their pockets. More than just Woolies and Coles, they own a range of supermarkets. They also own variety stores, electronics outlets and hardware chains, as well as many of the places you buy alcohol. And not just Bottolos, Woolies has a 75% stake in 270 pubs and clubs, and Coles is catching up with 91. That's a lot of poker machines. Woolies alone operate 12,000 of them. The Giants also sell fuel through deals with Caltex and Shell, and West Farmers owns coal mines in three states. But their core business is still groceries. Together, they share more than 70% of the Australian market. The UK's two biggest chains share 48%. The US equivalents are mere 20. The Giants flex their competitive muscles in a number of ways. They gradually buy out smaller rivals in a process called creeping acquisitions. They also buy land their competitors might be interested in and leave it vacant, a tactic known as greenfield acquisitions. In 2008, an ACCC inquiry found evidence of more than 700 restrictive covenants. Deals made by Woolies and Coles with shopping malls to keep out rivals such as Aldi and IGA. The Giants agreed to phase out this anti-competitive practice, but hundreds of the contracts remain. The Giants have also been accused of predatory pricing, using their huge buying power to push prices down, driving smaller competitors out of business, at which point they're free to raise prices again. And they don't just squeeze their rivals, they squeeze their suppliers too. The National Farmers Federation claims farmers are getting as little as 5% of what you pay at the checkout. Finance commentator Robert Gottliebson describes this as one of the greatest scandals ever seen in this country. Despite a recent ACCC inquiry into pricing competition backing the giants, farmers groups are now calling for a royal commission. Last year, Woolies and West Farmers made over $100 billion in revenue. They spend millions of that marketing themselves as caring Australians. Yet our grocery prices are up 41% since 2000. That's 8% higher than the OECD average. But if you want to protest by shopping elsewhere, good luck. Woolies and Coles have 6,500 stores. Despite protests from some communities, that number keeps growing. Woolies and Coles, our big friendly giants. As the Coles ads tell us, every dollar counts.